A quick aside to begin. I have not posted a video for some time due to my coaching at summer camp, the U.S. Open, which I watch, and living in beautiful northern New Jersey, attend, and then about with COVID. However, all that has ended, and with this video, I will resume posting more regularly. We all want to hit with topspin ground strokes. Topspin enables you to swing harder and yet keep the ball in play because the topspin drives the ball downward on your opponent's side of the net, and then it springs forward, making things all the more difficult for your opponent. In this video, I'll demonstrate how you can practice topspin on your own without a hitting partner and without anyone feeding you balls. You don't even need a ball machine. For the first of the two drills I'll demonstrate, you should find a court that is next to a fence so that the balls you hit won't roll onto someone else's court. And in fact, you might be better off on a court by a fence for the second drill as well. For both drills, you will do best with a goodly number of balls, as you will see that I have in my demonstration videos. For the first drill, take your balls to one of the alleys of an otherwise empty court on the side of the court by the fence where the net is at its highest. Stand on the side of the alley that permits you to hit forehand into the alley on the other side of the net and stand not at the baseline, but rather a few feet back from the net. Then start drop hitting forehand ground strokes. And here's the key. Drop the ball so that at its highest point of the bounce, it is still below the level of the net. Swing upward from below the contact point to above it. Take a full stroke. Make sure your racket head is perpendicular to the court at contact not open or closed face, and be sure to follow through high. See how hard you can swing and still have the ball land short of the opposite baseline. You can adjust your distance from the net and how hard you strike the ball, but make sure that you are hitting upward from well below the contact point and with your racket face perpendicular to the net at contact. That will assure that you are hitting with top spin. The second drill is very similar, but offers the opportunity to hit from anywhere on the court and presents options for hitting over objects of varying heights. Take a ball hopper, the kind I have here, or one of the many other varieties. In fact, take any obstacle you wish, a tall garbage can or a laundry basket, Use your imagination. Place the object on the court not too far in front of you. I'm placing my ball hopper a few feet inside the baseline. Now drop and hit from below the top of the obstacle, racket head perpendicular to the court of contact, and clear the net. Repeat until you're sure you're hitting with topspin and you're getting good depth on your shots without hitting over the opposite baseline. As with the first drill, see how hard you can swing and still have the ball land short of the opposite baseline. You can adjust the obstacle's position on the court to see how sharply and quickly upward it's comfortable for you to hit with topspin from different positions. Moreover, you can increase the height of the obstacle by stacking something on top of it. An empty cardboard box would do. Put it on top of your original object and hit over the stacked obstacle. This enables you to practice hitting with even greater topspin. I've demonstrated the drill hitting mostly forehands. You can, indeed should, also practice backhand topspin in the same manner as I've done in one of the video clips. Let me know in the comments what you think of these drills. If you liked this video, please click the like button below. And if you're not already subscribing to Cross Court Rabbit Complete Tennis, please consider doing so by clicking the subscribe button also below. Finally, 
I'm David Popeil, and I want you to play and enjoy the greatest of all games. I'll see you again soon.